Hi guys, it's Katie. I'm going to be doing a mandala stone project with you guys today. I'm using a kit, um, but you could definitely, if you didn't have the kit available, you could go and find some flat rocks and use any paints. This is just acrylic paint. That's really all you need for this project. Um, this kit is from Art Maker, and it's called Paint Your Own Mandala Stones. And it is nice, it has little patterns inside the book. Um, and gives you instructions on how to do each pattern. But this is definitely not a necessity. Okay, I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and open my brushes. They also have these nice little um, wooden sticks to like little miniature dowels with a round top for making nice perfect circles and then while I work I'm gonna just talk a little bit about mandalas and where they come from and what people use them for I'm just trying to see if I'm going to use one of the patterns here. Okay. I think I'm going to work off of this. I might change it up a little bit, but I'm going to do the nature inspired mandala. And it says I need a pencil, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, so the kit comes with these paints. It comes in some the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, and then it also comes with a white and a green, so you can mix. And I got a little piece of foil out so I can mix my colors on there. So the first step is to paint my stone all over. This is the one I'm going to use. If, you're, if you don't have the kit and you want to um, go look for stones for this, it helps if they're nice and flat and smooth. That's going to be the best thing to use. Okay. So I can choose any color, I'm not going to follow theirs. They used a dark red for the stone, but I'm going to do, I think, a light blue. So I'm going to mix some blue and some white. I'm kind of messing up my white here, I'm going to try to be careful not to do that. You can also mix your color. If you're just painting the stone fully, you could mix it right on the stone. I'm going to get a clean brush because you can see I'm mixing this up here. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. It's not fully mixed, but I'm going to add some white on here. And in between layers, you will have to wait a few minutes for it to dry. I'm out in the sun, so it should be pretty quick. Mm -hmm. So mandalas originate from uh, Buddhist tradition. And they are present in many other cultures. You can find kind of similar versions of the mandala in uh, Celtic tradition, Christianity, Native American, um, like within the medicine wheel and dream catchers. And you can also spot them in nature a lot. Um, many things have mandala shapes to them in nature, like uh, snowflake or flowers, even seashells, where they have um, patterns that start at the center and radiate out. And that's basically what a mandala is. It's a geometric design that starts from the center and it's rooted in circles. Um, mandala, I believe, translates to circle or center in Sanskrit.
And nowadays they're often used as a way to help us meditate. They relieve stress. It's just a way we can relax, ease our minds. You see them in a lot of coloring books now even. Um, yeah, it's a nice way to just kind of zone out and ease your mind if you're stressed or worried about something. Or if you're having a crazy day, it's nice to find a little quiet space to put music on, have some tea. And it kind of brings quiet to our mind. So I'm just covering the whole rock here with this light blue. And I think I'm going to rip a piece of foil off here to paint on so I don't get it on my table. Mandalas have been around for so long. I believe, I think some people believe they started as early as the first century, but it could have been even before that. I'm doing a couple coats on this. I don't want to see the rock underneath. That's just my personal preference. If you like to see the natural rock, you can leave this blank even. You don't even need to do this first coat. I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so I did my blue one, but my video got messed up. You couldn't really see what I was working on. Um, I tried to make this one kind of sun inspired because I've really been just appreciating and super grateful for the sun finally coming out after a long winter. So I'm gonna start over so you can see another one. Um, I just painted this rock here, like a light purple. I've got some colors mixed up here and I'm gonna try to do this color drop mandala and that's going to be on page 12 of your book if you're using the book so hopefully you can see this better um, I've got a couple sticks here my paint brushes this one I think uses only dots no brushes so let's see so the first step is to paint your rock and then I'm going to start in the center and make a large dot. Rinse my brush so I don't ruin it. I'm going to use the end of this fat paintbrush to do my dot because I want it kind of large and I'm going to do a pink. I'm going to start right in the center. And I'm going to go over it a couple times because I want it to be thick. Okay. So I've got a decent sized dot there in the center. You can use a paper towel to just wipe off the ends as you work. Now the next step is to paint six evenly spaced dots around that center dot. So I'm going to use this. You can use the end of your dotting stick. I'm going to do it with a teal. And it can be tricky to get them evenly spaced. Do your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that worked pretty well. All right, the next step is to put tiny dots in between those, uh, that second round. So right in between. 
And I think I will use... an orange. With the colors in your kit, you can mix any color that you need. You can just refer to your color wheel if you need to um, be reminded of how to make certain colors. For an orange, I'm just going to mix red and yellow. And take your time on this. If you rush, that's uh, where you're going to mess up. Now, I'm going to make another ring around the teal in between, above the orange dots, in between the teals. And in a larger size, it says again. And I'm going to go back to the pink. And once you get going, you kind of use your the row you did before is a guide to where your next row goes. So you'll see they fit perfectly in between. Okay. And now I'm going to do another dot on top of the pinks in a different color. Oh no, I'm sorry, on top of the teals. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the orange again. I like using similar colors, I'll switch it up in a bit. And your mandala might not come out exactly like the book. I don't think mine is going to, but that's okay. Okay, and now another dot is going to go in between those two oranges. And now I think I'll switch up the color. I'm going to use a green. Your kit comes with a dark green. If you wanted to make it lighter, you could add white. If you wanted to make it a little more grassy, you could add yellow to it. So we're going to go just like this. And I'll lift it up in a second so you can see better. Okay. So there's what I've got so far. Okay. Now between those, it looks like I'm going to add... A dot that's kind of spaced out so I can do tiny dots all around it. And with that, I'm going to do a new color. I'm going to do purple. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my purple and I'm going to go in between the greens. double-check in there. So on top of the orange, in between the green. And do not feel like you need to follow these patterns exactly. If you want to switch it up, change the colors, or the pattern completely, feel free. The kit is a nice guide. Okay, now that I've got those, I'm going to go around those outside ones and make tiny little dots around them, a little border. And I want to use a color that's contrasting, so I might go back to the teal, actually. 
I'm going to get a little more on my palette here. I'm just using an old brown paper bag. Okay. So I'm using the smallest tip. If you have a toothpick, that's helpful because in the kit, the sticks don't come this small. And you don't want to get too much on your tip at once, but you can always go back for more. This one is coming out a lot better than my first one. The first one I kind of tried to wing it completely. I think following a pattern helps a little. And then working from there on your own. Okay, that's where I'm at. All right, the next step is to do another set of large dots in between the purples. This one keeps going, but my rock is kind of small, so I'm gonna end up stopping there um, and then adding all my detail in. So I'm gonna do one more set of dots, and I think I'm gonna use the end of this paintbrush like I had planned before. And I'm gonna do, hmm. I think I'm going to do green again. Okay, so we're going to go in between those purples right here, it looks like. Yeah. Now all the rocks in the kit are a different shape, so just kind of work with the shape that you've got. pretty good. Now I'm going to take my toothpick tip again and I'm going to go around those. And I'm going to use the light pink. It's a little trickier because now we're on the edge. Okay. These tiny dots around your main ones really add a lot of pretty detail. I didn't do that on this one at all, and you can see this one is much more detailed.
Okay. Now it has me going around and doing another dot here in between, but I'm getting to the edge, so I'm going to start adding my other details, um, and we're going to put more color in the larger dots that we've got going on here. So I'm going to bring in another color, I think. Use yellow for my center. And then I'll add another color in the center when that dries. And I can take this yellow and use it throughout. So this layer really makes everything pop. Okay, let's see. Then I'm going to go in with the teal and the pink dots. Back to the yellow. You may need to wait in between for those dots to all dry completely. Hmm, I feel like I need another color. I'm going to put the teal on the green here. It might blend in and I might need to change it. Okay. I'm going to do a teal dot right in the center. Pretty. Like the yellow really ties it all together. Okay. Now you could keep going crazy adding more dots and more dots. I feel like that looks pretty good right now. It doesn't quite look like the book, but it's got a similar shape. They did these little rays around, and I haven't done those on mine. I might add them. Yeah, now I can go put this in a plant or take it to the park, and we're done.